We got a lot of really good feedback surrounding our free NAS segment with Patrick Norton in episode 78 of Know How. One of those sets of questions hovered around the USB flash drive, the USB key that I suggested you install your free NAS operating system on. So the first question was, why a flash drive? Why not a hard drive or why not an SSD? Well, the, the most obvious question is the waste of space. You see, the way that the free NAS operating system works is that even though it's only two gigabytes, you can only use the drive for that. You can't partition it out. You can't use the space for anything else. You can't store anything on there other than the free NAS operating system. So it doesn't matter if it's a two gigabyte drive, a four gigabyte drive, a 128 gigabyte SSD, or a two terabyte rotating media drive, you can only use the first two gigabytes, and why would you do that? The other thing is about longevity. You see, when you've got data on a rotating drive, that drive is slowly shaking itself to death. It's not going to happen for a really long time, but eventually the rotating drive will fail simply because it has moving parts. The, the nice thing about using flash drives is, of course, most of us have a lot of them, and yes, they do last a long time. I think that was the number one question I got, which is, well, aren't you worried about putting things on a flash drive? But as I said, flash memory is only used up. It's only worn out by the writes, and something like FreeNAS isn't going to write a whole lot to the flash drive. It's pretty much a live CD, something that just pulls and then writes configurations to the flash drive. In that, in that case, it's going to last a long, long time.